Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video, just looking at another file that people think uh, is malware, although this time I'm pretty sure I'm going to be debunking, because basically there's a bunch of videos. If you type Steekblad's video uploader into YouTube, you get all these videos, one of them is completely unrelated, so YouTube's search engine has actually associated Steekblad's video uploader with hacking, which I don't believe is accurate. So what exactly is happening is the channel stealer malware that I've shown in my other videos does not manually upload the videos. It's using this Steekblad's video uploader because it's easier and it's freely available as opposed to just uploading through a web interface. And they can't create their own API apps because nowadays YouTube requires that your application be whitelisted for you to be able to upload through it. So I'm going to look at some of these videos and then we're going to download this. So this is someone saying how to avoid getting hacked by Steekblad's video uploader. Okay, that's irrelevant. Um, this person says they have been hacked. Uh, this is a shocking amount of uh, motion graphics. Okay, well this is... This is actually good advice on getting your channel back. You can either go on Twitter or you can go on the uh, YouTube community form. Uh, this is actually the right idea, but it's not. It's got nothing to do with Steakblad. So here's someone who's actually made a tutorial on how to install Steakblads, and unfortunately, I imagine we can't see anymore. This person has gotten absolutely disliked to hell over this because we got all these comments. How to remove? Uh, here we go. Boy, you really thought freak out here. It's hacker. No, it isn't. Another guy saying it actually is. Uh, no. No, it isn't. I, I find it funny given given what that person's picture is referencing. I would think if they know what that is, they're probably old enough to know, but I guess not. So, what's actually going on here? Well, I'm going to download Steakblad's video uploader. We can go and we can get it under the releases section on GitHub. And here we go. Got the jar file, and you can also download the source code if you wanted to look and see that it's not doing anything sketchy, that's good. It's always good to have open source because it gives you a good idea. This is just Firefox. Now, any I had this comment on another video. Any um, web browser will warn you about executable files. It doesn't mean it does contain malware, it just means it could. Now we're going to open this up. And now we can see how this works. So you got settings where you can add, you can choose a language of Svenska or English. Not sure what language that is. Uh, metadata tool. That's cool. So you can pick a video because there's people who believe that uh, the file name affects uh, YouTube SEO. So that's what that's for. Go here. There's a homepage. There's even a wiki. You can report a bug. You can clear your stored data uh, about this translation. Update silently. So there we go. You can see this is a pretty the normal looking application. So what you do is you pick a video file, which given this is a VM, I don't have one, but... And then you put it in, and then you can sign into your YouTube account. And this is where people are getting confused, is you sign in on this application, and then what happens is... We'll go back to the tutorial video, where it'll show how, how we use it. Um, and then it's added to your channel and you'll get an email saying Steakblad's video uploader has been added to your YouTube account. Which is true, it has. And the hackers are using it, but it is just an uploading application, it's not... You can... I'm trying to see how this... And they just go through and upload it. And you get an email from YouTube that shows what's happened. And that's where people are getting confused, is because they're not getting an email that their channel's been hacked, they're getting an email that Steakblad's video uploader has been added. And here there's also on GitHub, there's an issues where more people are talking about this, where, can the creator of the program please explain how I was hacked and granted access to this fucking program? My Google account is highly secure. So to answer the first person's question, they were a victim of session stealing, which can bypass two-factor authentication if you install malware. Okay. So here he's explaining that. And here's one, no normal person, uh, people, lots of people 
I, I don't. I, I think I'm. May, I'm. The whole reason I'm making this video is just because I think the hate on this person's unfair. Their, their program is legitimate, and there, there's plenty of reasons to use automated video uploader. Maybe you don't like YouTube's UI for it. Maybe you frequently upload a large amount of videos. Maybe you just want something that's easy so you could directly from your video editing software, maybe you don't have the fastest internet and you just want to export from your video editing software and have that automatically be uploaded to YouTube. There's a lot of reasons to use an automated video uploading software and I don't see any reason why to believe that this person isn't legitimate. This software has been worked on for over four years and is MIT licensed. This is just an open source project that some other group are using for bad purposes. So I hope you enjoyed or got something out of this video. Not really the usual type of video because it's perfectly harmless software. I just wanted to explain that no, you're not being hacked by uh, Steeplad's uh, video upload.